What's up everybody, it's Chris, it's Team DY Fishing. Got Flynn in the car. This is an unusual video. Uh, we are actually on our way to a place called Jones Fish, here in their outlet here in Fort Wayne. Jones Fish is a, is a huge commercial fish farm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana, so I'm, I'm a couple hours away from Cincinnati. But Jones Fish, raises these fish and if you go to their website jonesfish.com shout out to them um, they sell stocking fish for ponds and why i'm buying stocking fish for ponds is the first video lots changed since last year hope you guys all had a good new year's good holidays i'm having a house built and i've made sure that i got a pond lot which has always been a dream of mine it's a brand new pond that was dug about a year year and a half ago there's no life in it right now. Uh, got permission from the builder, since I'm one of the four lots that are on this lot, uh, pond, to stock it. So, went to jonesfish.com last week. This is the first, they come, they come to Fort Wayne uh, two Saturdays a month. This is the first Saturday of the year that they've come to Fort Wayne. So what I bought was 52 inch to four inch bluegill seven pounds of fathead minnows and five pounds of golden shiners gonna throw those in this pond get some life going uh, get them those fish to hopefully breed get the population up and then next year or later this year maybe we'll uh, begin putting some bass in there probably wait till next year i want to see how the pond does in the dead of summer here as far as how much water evaporates so flynn and i are making the drive to uh, jones fish spot here in town I'll fire back up when we get there and then we'll go straight to the uh, new house and the pond and we'll get them stocked. So I'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, here we are pulling around. I just, as we pulled in, you can see them with their special uh, fish tanker truck out. So I'm in line to, uh, to get our fish. Wow, I didn't, look at all these Jones fish vehicles. So in addition to the fish, these people also sell uh, everything to manage your pond as far as the chemicals to keep your pond clean and healthy. And uh, things like uh, aerators and fountains. So it'll be interesting to see how this pond fares uh, this year in its first year. And I may have to wind up buying some other things from them. six cars six cars ahead of us in line so I don't know if they're dipping out as customers wait or if they've got them already bagged and ready to go so we get a little bit of breeze flowing through here. I've been out fishing a couple times this year already. Uh, haven't, didn't have any luck. My brother went to the lake yesterday and he actually, he actually said that uh, he had one on. So Flynn and I are gonna go drop these fish off at the pond at the new house and then uh, I'm going to drop him off and uh, I'm probably going to head to the lake and do some fishing. So now they got Jeeps, they've got Nissan Titans, obviously some money in the fish business. The prices are, the prices aren't outrageous. Um, this order, this order cost me about $220. But you think about it, that's 52 to four inch bluegill and that's seven pounds of fathead minnows and five pounds of golden shiners. So, small price to pay if these fish take and, and do well. Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid transferring any fish from other ponds or anywhere else I fish into this pond. A, because I, you know, like I always say guys, we don't wanna take fish from other people's uh, ponds and lakes the same way that I won't want people taking fish out of this pond once I get it established. So 
I'd rather do it the right way and be respectful to everybody. So that's what uh, that's what I'm doing. Plus, this way, you know, they're they're healthy fish. There's no, it shouldn't be any sickness or disease since they've been farm raised. is a big deal. There's a lot of people here. Yeah. So they've got two flatbed trucks that literally have big aquariums or live wells on the back here. Try to shoot the truck here for you guys so you can see up ahead good morning, good morning. chris jackson okay. you see an id i don't need an id all right if you know you if you know he's got an order i yep yep it's uh eight nine nine zero if they're a numerical order they're for in, you they're in alphabetical oh right. excellent We're excited. We we're building a house on a brand new pond, so this is our this oh. is our first batch of fish to go in there and get it established. Nice. Blue gill, five pounds of shiner, and seven pounds of fathead. Correct. Oh, it's gonna follow the line, obviously. And we'll pull up, and they'll uh, they'll have them for you. They'll have I'll write your vehicle information down, and they'll have them for you. Excellent. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Subaru. Gray Subaru WRX. Listen to him calling them off, that's cool. So they literally, they stay in these live wells and stay healthy, and then as you pull up, they bag them, they bag them and they have an oxygen tank and they inject oxygen in and then twist it shut and band it up. You can buy as little or as much as you want. If you buy over a certain dollar amount, they roll this truck out to your spot and they load, you help the person load them in. See if, I can, if you guys can see. So if you look just past that blue canopy, you can see the, the two trucks that are backed up tailgate to tailgate. And you can see the guys up on the beds of the truck dip netting the fish out. And on the ground by those trucks, you can see some bags that they've got pre-bagged. And you can hear it when they fire up the oxygen tank and blow the oxygen in. So my plan is, is to get these in today and then uh, wait maybe till this time next month. So the end of the middle, middle to end of May. And as long as we don't have a, any significant loss or anything, buy another shot and put them in there, put more in there. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger bluegill in the next purchase and definitely some more uh, shiners and uh, fathead minnows. So again, jonesfish.com and they have just about any game fish native to this area of the Midwest that you can imagine. And they've even got some weird things like uh, I think the thing, the paddlefish, the one with the big long bill or beak. But they've got stripers, they've got, you know, bluegills, red ear, 
uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. They sell musky. They sell tilapia. You know, and then the smaller fish, it's all done by, it, it's all the prices by the pound for that size. If you wanted some bigger bass to go ahead and put in that will be catch ready in, in you know, six months to a year, you have to, uh, you buy those and they're sold by, they're sold by the pound once you get to 12 inches and over. Hey, by the way, I don't know if you showed the picture, but I have the address. Well, yeah, because you have to put an address in. Yeah, but I don't know. If I didn't. I didn't. I never had it in front of the camera. Some people are buying big stuff. Oh, look. He rolled. He rolled deep. So the guy in front of us is buying. I don't know if that's fish food. Yeah, it looks like it. Or if that is some sort of a pond maintenance chemical. Uh, it's food because the bad that bag that he just brought out has a little leak. It looks like he's gonna take it back and get him a, a bag that doesn't have a hole. And it's definitely some little pellets of uh, fish food. That may be something that I look at once Flynn and I move in is throwing a bag of this food in the garage and uh, and feeding. Yeah, but you also don't want them to be dependent on humans like yeah. the ones where we're living now are, where they swim right up to you. Yeah, because they have no pass on there. They have no predators. So, but to keep them alive, I may, I may feed. So these bags are, they've got all different size bags. You know, think think fish store on a huge scale. When you buy a fish at Walmart or or a, or a fish store, they give you a little, you know, glorified Ziploc bag. These are like small trash can bags that these guys are using. And they dip the fish. And then they've got oxygen tanks on both trucks. So here's a better view of the operation, guys. You can see the two trucks. Either back floorboard. T white. <laughs> like that? Good for you, man. Yep, yep. As you can see, it turned out. As you can see, it turned out well. Yes, sir. I'm not done with you, okay? I'm. We'll put the other one on the on the driver's side back board. Yeah, yeah. we're a uh, small four uh, two to four inch bluegill. Fifty of them is all we're lacking. I owe you two pounds of fathead still. Okay. And then then I owe you the fifty. All right. The fifty bluegills. I got the bag. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. How many bluegills, Tom? I need 52 to 4s. Uh, there's two. The one with the five bass. Yeah, the one with five bass. No, that one was 10. 10. Yep, 10. Thank you, Frank. You guys are all running awesome. Seriously. Two pounds, thank you. All right, now all the blue We'll go up front with those by my son's feet. <laughs> Flynn, get out and come over here and look at all these. Look at all these pre bagged and ready to go. See them all? Isn't that awesome? Have you given, been given no fish yet? You've been given no fish yet, right? You got out of order on the head. Not you. I got you. Here's 10 pounds of fat heads. You can. It's not a bad idea. It'll stop them from rolling around. Red you mean? Red A hundred sunfish of sorts. 
You can get back in, bud. Awesome watching them pour them into the bucket or to the bags from the buckets. Look at all those. There's like tons in there. Well, did you look at ours? Open the back door and look at ours. We're good on minnows. Oh, really? Awesome. All right, I need 30 two to four inch bluegill, 40 two to four inch red ear. That's so two fish to go together in one bag. 30 two to four inch bluegill. He's getting our bluegill right now. I need four, four to six inch channel cats. Four, three, four inch mountain. Yep, four, three, four inch large mountain. You get him in box a second, sir. Catfish, you're doing. You can put them together however you want to, buddy. Yeah, I think you're fine with Chan Cat and Large Mouth One. You doing these blue gills hanging right here for now? Yeah. Oh, man. I didn't. I think this is our... Still waiting on bluegill. Thanks for your 
That's us. Gray Subaru? Yep. I hear he's all done. Take his invoice too. You hold on? They all yours? Yeah. He's going to snack on a few on the way. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Thank you for your patience. You guys all have a good day. Put on either side. All right. Next stop, the pond. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and shut down and we'll see you guys in uh, a couple minutes after we make the drive out to the house all right so here we are out here at the pond I'm not sure if the camera angle is good for you guys to be able to see flynn's carrying the uh the bluegill and i've got three bags in my hand that make up the uh make up the two kinds of minnows so i'm gonna set these down kind of lay it down flynn you may have to hold them actually to keep them from rolling downhill for me. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna change yeah, the change the angle on the camera real quick. All right. We'll just do it this way, bud. Here, just got it. Yep. No! No! Hold on to him, Flynn. All right, so this is the 50 bluegill. Gonna be hard for you guys to see, but gonna pop a hole in their oxygenated bag. Here they go. And dump them in. Got one that's stuck. There we go. All right, everything out. Yep. All right, so that's those. Let's go ahead and do these. Uh... This is gonna be fathead minnows. Again, probably hard for you guys to see. Make sure you get them all out of the bag. Don't want any, anybody to die from us. All right, what are these? These are the shiners. I want to get them in next. Oh, but look, they're starting. They're starting to move on and. All right, this is the. This is the sh uh, the golden shiners, which, as you guys can see, are quite a bit larger. Got them all out of there. So a little dead loss on the shiners. I see one, two, I see seven or eight of them. 
that uh, that didn't make it. Kind of, it kind of encouraged those to move out. All right, and we got one more small bag of. Uh, Grab that bag, Flint, so it doesn't go in the pond. Hold those bags, bud. guys so everything is in the water like I said I see two fat head minnows that are dead loss and one two three four five six of the golden shiners that are dead loss so you think about it out of that many fish that traveled here from Cincinnati Ohio that's not a bad uh, that's not bad at all I'm not mad about that. And more importantly, I see I see uh, I see quite a few of the fish swimming around happily and healthily. Look, that one shiner is trying to make a comeback. Those three are dead for sure, but that one keeps look, see? Look. Maybe it's just stunned, I don't know. I think it'll wind up dying. Yeah, it's it's a it's gonna be a floater. So let me give you guys a a view of the pond here. So it starts over here to my left, and it goes all the way around, and it curves around out of sight that way. That's the back of my house right there. As you see, I've got a nice covered back porch that's gonna overlook this pond and there's a, you can't see it obviously because it's a slab, but there's a 15 by 12 uncovered slab. So I'm gonna have this great view and my property runs from where I'm standing right here over to that pile of rocks straight ahead on the shore right over there. So I've got a nice, I've got nice frontage here on the pond and uh, and I, my lot overlooks the, the widest part going from here to there. So can't wait to get in here. Uh, house is supposed to be done and, and we're supposed to move in in August. Can't wait to get out here and fish this, you know, here in a year or so when things are established. But for now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Thanks for watching. Glad to be back in fishing season. I probably, like I said, I'm going to drop Flint off at home and I'm probably going to head to the lake and fish. So I'll shoot some more then. Until then, thanks for subscribing. Talk to you in a little bit. This is Chris, Team DY Fishing. Have a great day.